Hello and welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Sarah and this is a Dover coloring book, uh, Dover publication, green edition. This is printed on recycled paper um, of the American Wildflowers coloring book. And the illustrations um, are for are from Paul Kennedy. Um, I guess he did not draw these, he rendered these um, for coloring. So that means that there was a photograph or there was some other picture that was colored in or had shading in or some, it was already filled in with something. And he changed the, the insides of that to make it, um, able to be colored. Um, so that's what Paul Kennedy did. This is the front of the book. Here is the back. The book is staple bound and the dimensions of the book are eight and a half by 11. Inside the front cover, the back cover, and the back of the book, you will find each one of the illustrations inside already colored in as examples for you. You then have an information page here, an information page here, and then it starts you right up. Each one of the pictures will have the page number as well as the name of the flower pictured, as well as the Latin name of the flower pictured and where it's found. The paper quality of the book is the same as um, most of the Dover coloring books. Um, however, this is a green edition. Um, that does not really change the paper quality inside. It just changes what it's printed on, and this is recycled paper. Um, the green editions, I have noticed, there is a bit of difference only in the texture of the page. These feel a bit more rough than some of the ones that are not printed on uh, green, green paper, which is fine. Um, the roughness will actually help the colored pencil lay down a bit better. So I actually prefer the green editions. And the mediums I would use would be um, colored pencils. That would be my top choice for mediums. You can also use crayons, gel pens, ink pens, things like that. I would not use any type of marker as the paper quality um, would not allow for it to not ruin the other side, it would totally bleed through. And I really like the Dover coloring books because they're inexpensive, they're easy to come by, you can usually get them on Amazon for cheaper than what the manufactured suggested price is, and also the pages are already printer paper size. And by that, I mean you can copy these pages onto any type of paper weight you would like it to be, as long as you have a printer. Um, so if, if you're not fond of the paper inside these books, it would be um, a very simple task to use an X-Acto knife, cut out the picture that you'd like to do, and put it on your scanner and scan it into your computer, print it off on better quality paper, um, and be able to use watercolor on it. Um, these books are great for that, and that's what I use these books for most of the time. I love watercoloring, so um, the paper will not take watercolor very well at all. So I usually um, fold back the cover and scan it into the computer or cut a page out and scan it into the computer and then print it off on watercolor paper or a thicker cardstock type of paper uh, that will allow me to use watercolor to color these. And that is the end of the book. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, I am not affiliated with Dover Publications at all. They're not paying me to do this. I did not receive this book for free. I got this for my own money. And I wanted to let you know that if you like the Dover books, you can go to doverpublications.com 
and check out their whole line of coloring books. And um, they've got some really neat ones for all ages um, with images from any topic you can possibly think of. Anything from dinosaurs to robots to um, Native American Indians or, you know, the history of the French Revolution. I mean, you can get... You can get any coloring book over any topic you would like to at Dover Publications, and I really like that about them. So thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy coloring.